An important story now for anyone with an iPhone. There is a feature that you've probably seen and we hope you never have to use. Tonight we have learned that it likely saved a young woman's life. Her name is Katie, and she found herself in some serious trouble when a stranger attacked her. She pushed the SOS button on the iPhone. It calls 911, and police were able to listen to what was happening and get to Katie before it was too late. Here is Katie tonight telling her story. My friends and I were at the oceanfront. We were just having a blast to be honest we definitely stayed till like last call and that's where we requested our lifts it was around the corner right in front of lunacy but as i was reaching for the door handle is when this man approached me uh, asked me to help him find his phone he said he was in the military when he told me he was in the military like i felt a sense of safety like he gave me the number as we crossed the street as I'm calling this number and nobody's answering. So I started to try to log into the Find My iPhone app, and that's when I really got distracted. By that point, he had led me onto the sand. I handed him my phone and said, you type it in yourself. And that's when I finally got a bad feeling. He had no idea how to navigate an iPhone. With his other hand, he was doing like an obscene gesture. So I finally was like, this is bad. I've got to get out of here. So I said, let me try again so that he'd hand me my phone back. And I turned around and walked away. And that's when he came up behind me, grabbed my mouth and was covering my mouth and my nose and tackled me to the ground. But I still had my phone in my right hand. So I activated the SOS feature by holding the side button and the power button and then swiping across. So from that point on, 911 was able to hear everything that was going on. Virginia Beach 911, where is the emergency? Help me! Help me! What's the location that you're at? Please help me! He kept saying, we need to move closer to the water. I'm f***ing to you. You just buy the Uber. Let's just go home. I can't! I can't do And he told me that he had a knife. He said, I don't want to have to use it. I just want to assault you. And at that point, I honestly thought that I could die out here. But I knew that 911 was online. So I was just trying to give like as many clues as I could. No, I don't want to go further. Please don't. No, no, no. What's going on here? Something made him say, give me your phone. That very moment, the police headlights shined on the beach. He took off running. I got a female running towards me. Um, to 23rd Street crime. Okay, what's going on? What's wrong? He just ran that way. He was trying to. I got a male running up the beach on foot. Get on the ground, you can be tased. Get on the ground now. Get the on the ground. Get on the ground. What's your name? Happy 24th Oceanfront, on the sand. What? Pull up. Adjusting to the newsroom, a man will spend the next 15 years in prison for abducting a woman at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. A judge sentenced Najib Bullock to 30 years and suspended 15 of them. My phone in my hand and knowing how to activate the SOS feature is what saved my life. This is something that will always be with me. But I do feel like a survivor now, more than a victim. If you have an iPhone, find that feature and know how to use it. Uh, that young woman's name is Kelly, not Katie. My apologies for that. Joining me now is Adrienne Mayfield. She is a producer at Wavy TV in Virginia, and she spoke with Kelly about this attack. Uh, Adrienne, it is just incredible to hear her account of what happened and how close she came to something very, very bad. Uh, there are a lot of lessons learned from Kelly's story um, and obviously her quick actions in that terrifying moment. Absolutely. When I was interviewing Kelly, I was stunned by how many smart decisions she was able to make so quickly. From the moment she realized that something wasn't right, she was able to get her phone back 
think quickly enough to activate that SOS feature, and then also think about the kinds of clues officers might need in order to find out where she was. And police actually told her that those clues, like, don't go near the water, I don't want to go near the water, led them to the sand instead of a nearby hotel where they were originally going to look. Yeah, she's so smart, and you hope that you, you, you react in the same way. Uh, she's a survivor, she said it, but that has been a tough process for her as well. Uh, what did she share with you about the emotional toll that this attack has taken? She told me it took her a long time to recognize the smart decisions that she made and that she suffered a lot with shame, like many sexual assault survivors do. But through a lot of therapy and actually advocating for herself through the court process, she came to the realization that she is a survivor. She's able to acknowledge the good things that she was able to do during that attack. And that's the reason she's sharing her story. Wow. First and foremost, get that SOS feature, know how to use it. And second of all, you know, if you are a survivor, talk to somebody, whether it's a therapist, a trusted friend, or the judges and the police. Hmm. Wow, so many lessons learned, and she is a survivor and so smart and quick in the moment. Adrian, we appreciate you bringing this story to us tonight. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.